Senator Chipman Rose, thanks for joining us. What do you, what do you, as we are here at the convention, uh, what are your thoughts on this team going into the fall for the Republicans in Illinois? Yeah, this has been, a, I think, a good convention. Uh, maybe a little bit unconventional and unique, but that's great. Um, a lot of new people. Um, you know, I think that the, the uh, pick of uh, Mike Pence it does a lot to unify the party. But then when you talk about reaching out, and conventions have two themes, unification and reaching out. If you watch the traditional roll call of states last night, usually that's led by high-ranking officials of the party. Last night was real people in a lot of cases. People that just said, hey, you know what, we're going the wrong direction in this country. We need to turn it around. And they got involved. They got engaged. So I think it's having the effect of unifying the grassroots, but at the same time, we're starting to reach out and this jobs is it. There was a poll out this week, 70% of America thinks we're going the wrong direction. Okay, wrong direction. There's not an opportunity for the kids. People feel less secure. And that's what we're talking about here. How we provide jobs and opportunity for our children and grandchildren, and how we secure our country to make sure people can live in safety, raise a family, and enjoy the greatest country that ever. Uh, uh, enjoy the greatest country on earth. It gets a little noisy, but let me ask you just one. Have you been working your district as yet? And uh, do you get feedback from people on uh, Donald Trump being the nominee of the Republican Party? Yeah, so in the 15th congressional district that I was elected, actually as a cruise delegate, Donald Trump won the district overwhelmingly. So I'm a bit of an anomaly having been elected for someone else to come here. But look, the fact is, people get it. Uh, in Decatur, Illinois, okay, Decatur, Illinois, we need jobs. We desperately need jobs. Uh, last night, I thought one of the most poignant moments in the roll call of states was the West Virginia delegation that called out Hillary Clinton and said, Hillary, you told us you want us out of work. You want to put all of us out of work. You want to kill coal. Well, guess what? They may kill coal in West Virginia, but in Decatur, Illinois, is the Caterpillar manufacturing plant that makes all those heavy mining trucks that are used in coal. So it doesn't just impact West Virginia. It impacts my district in Illinois. This is about jobs. It's about the future. It's about prosperity and opportunity. And if you listen to these speakers right now, right behind us, first female commander on a space shuttle mission ever, okay? She had the opportunity to do that. We have to have the same opportunities for our children. Children. And that's where our party's going to lead. And, and I tell you what, if anybody thinks there's an enthusiasm issue with us, they got it wrong. If you heard this place rocking when Laura Ingram was out there, you could hear. I mean, you could feel it. And on the other hand, you got Hillary, and I was like, well, it's her turn. It's Hillary's turn. Well, that's not a reason to vote for anybody. Right. Hey, thanks for joining us. Thank you.